Hey guys, today we're gonna check all interesting things that happened in Trolls this week. Let's start with this week's patch. It's called the Mighty Jungle and brings a new biome to the game. The biome is called Jurassic Jungle and looks like this. This new biome also brings a variety of new dungeons, check them out. Since a new biome is out, new styles are also out. Dino Tamer is finally available for anyone to get. Get this class by using a class coin from your inventory. We got a new mount in the cast chest rotation. Well, the mount itself is not new, but haven't seen it in uh, cast chest rotation in a while. It's a red hellbug and it looks like this in game. If you enjoy mining, it's time for you to go do that as we got a double ore event lasting the whole week. Players can now enable multi-threading support. This is meant to make your Trove client use more of your uh, computer processor, meaning Trove should run smoother. But <laughs> shortly after I did that, shortly after I enabled my uh, multi-threading, I noticed my gems went invisible. That might be a feature. They wanna make me forget I don't have a stellar water in power gem yet. Thanks, Ryan. Man, they think of everything. Also, the world seems to be randomly loading at times. One moment I'm sitting here and the next moment the world looks like I just got teleported there. Friends list seems to be loading faster. Or not. Another thing I noticed and they didn't seem to mention it in uh, patch notes. When you'll try to craft something and don't have enough of one resource, it'll show a red number. And if you do have enough of that resource, it'll show you a green number. Cool stuff. Let's move on to their weekly livestream. They had a word on a future ease of use regarding mods. Um. We're also going to be, the other relatively soon thing that's coming up, um, will be on PTS, hopefully in a couple weeks, again, hopefully, um, is our in-game mod manager. So the ability to uh, view the mods you have loaded, um, turn them on and off. Um, we're simplifying how kind of mods are packaged and shared. Um, we want to make mods something more people can build, get access to, easier to share. Um, and that's all that caught my attention this week. Thank you very much for watching guys, I will see you on the next video.